In this video, I'm going to talk about four tips for artists and producers collaborating together. Keep watching. Hey, my name is Marlon from MarlonMacMedia.com. And in this, in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips that I've um, put together for producers, specifically collaborating with artists, working with artists, as well as for artists who are looking to work with producers. These tips apply to you as well. I've been talking to my subscribers via email uh, over the last few weeks, and I know some of you are struggling with the aspect of finding artists to work with, um, as well as vice versa. Uh, you said you've got the creative side down, but when it comes on to actually, well, finding um, people to um, put on your tracks, um, or if you're a singer or a rapper, artist, whoever you might be, and you're looking to find um, producers, I've had questions and emails come across asking me if I'm looking to work with anyone, as well as people are struggling to to actually find the right people to work with. Um, I don't think it's that difficult to find artists if you're a producer and vice versa because we now have the internet so there's not really too much of a barrier now in going out there finding new talent we've got youtube where we can go on and see lots of people who uh, maybe they're not local to us uh, but you can actually uh, still reach out to somebody and collaborate over the internet, collaborate long distance. But the traditional stuff still works. Um, if you're living in especially a big city, there's most likely going to be some sort of talent um, showcase or, or some kind of open mic session that you can go to and mingle. And the more you go and you see um, different people going up and singing or, or performing, you can actually reach out to them and, you know, make friends and, um, you know, see whether or not you can potentially have some opportunities to do work. But I know there, there's places, resources online that you can find, um, people to collaborate with as well. But that's not really what I want to talk about in this particular video. And what I want to focus more on is when you do have a collaboration to do, how do you approach it? How do you actually make sure that everything goes well, especially if you're a producer and you're working with an artist, an artist approaches you. And um, the same thing, like I said, uh, I've said before, applies to the artist side of things as well. The same rules um, of engagement applies. So the first tip that I want to um, mention is that you have to make sure you find someone that complements your style. So find the right type of collaborator um, and that where you are going to find it much easier for the creative juices to flow. Um, if you find somebody that has um, an ego issue or somebody that um, clashes with your style or your personality, you're going to find it much more difficult to work together. And chances are you're not going to come out with a very good end result in terms of the master track that you do record. So finding somebody that you can partner with that actually enhances and brings out your style um, and fills in that gap, things that you're lacking in, they can make up for type of thing is a great way to look at it. You make you need to make sure you get along with this person as well. So you have to gel with their personality. So that's rule number one. Um, the first, sorry, the second thing is to um, decide on a project scope. I've got my notes down here. So deciding on a project scope is important. And what I mean by the project scope is before you jump into the creative side of things and just start making music, you need to have some sort of a container to put things within as far as the end result that you're going for with the type of project that you're doing. So what the track is supposed to be like, um, what's the goal of the track and um, essentially um, having some sort of way to decide um, how it's going to sound or what is going to be similar to if there's something that exists already which chances are there is going to be other tracks that probably sound like what you've got um, in mind so you have some kind of reference point that you can say look um, this is the common ground that this is what we're working towards otherwise you might find that um, whoever you're collaborating with might have issues with trying to put forward their idea um, and trying to run with their idea, whereas you want to put forward your idea. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what's, what collaborations are all about. It's about compromises, about, um, you know, listening in for, um, that spark, just looking out for that spark, um, as you work together and, um, coming up with whatever you feel that feels good and, um, could work for the track. But at the same time, you don't want to go too far off tangent because then that can make things drag out and become long winded. And um, God forbid you might have disagreements over how things should go. But at least if you've got some kind of scope of the project, you know that we're keeping it within certain parameters, then it's much more easy to um, kind of 
kind of make decisions along the way to say that like, does it meet the scope of the project or does it add to it or does it take away from it type of thing and you can move forward from there so that's tip number two tip number three is to decide on the responsibilities of each person so deciding responsibilities is knowing um, what role each person is going to play in the collaboration process is one person going to take the lead and the other person is sort of going to be there to back them up or is it going to be uh, you know very equal but um, I would say that you need to have one person that is probably in charge of the project because then um, how do you decide how to move on from a point where you might have um, differences in opinion or differences in the vision of the project. Um, so responsibilities go uh, as far as to looking beyond the recording and the production side of things as well. It looks at um, potentially going into the promotional side or into the distribution side. How are things going to be working? Who's going to do what when it comes on to running campaigns, potentially after that to promote the project? Um, it could also be to do with finances, deciding on how um, things are going to get funded and what goes into the budget and so on and so forth. The fourth and final point that I want to make is to basically have written agreements. Having written agreements in place makes sure that everything is black and white. Your rights are protected. Um, everyone's getting their fair share of um, royalty, uh, royalty uh, splits. Um, if you've seen my video before about split sheets, you know that's something that's super important if you are collaborating creatively as a songwriter, composer. You need to make sure that you fill out split sheets and you have an agreement um, with that split sheet straight up from the beginning so you're not going into it and thinking, okay, who's done what? Um, who's going to get what uh, revenue share or, or split share of royalties? Uh, so that's something you need to have in place. There are other documents that you would specifically need as a producer and an artist working together, dependent on whether or not you are doing things as work for hire or if you're collaborating as a um, songwriter, so to speak. So what I've done for you is I've put together a free checklist and mini guide of sorts, which breaks some of these things down that I've talked about just now. Um, you can get it on marleymacmedia.com forward slash collaboration dash checklist. I'll put it up on screen as well. Um, so go ahead and download that um, and you'll be able to uh, run through some of the things that I think are important, including some of the things I've mentioned in this video already, and also a recommended list of documents that I um, personally think that you should be using, especially if you're a producer independently working with an artist or an independent artist working with a producer. Go ahead and grab that checklist now. And um, if this video has helped you, if you like it, go ahead and hit the like button, share it with somebody else if you feel this content is going to be helpful to them and um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Leave me any questions in the comment area and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.